Hey, what is going on guys? Jolts here, and today we're going to be going over 10 major changes in the Borderlands 1 Remastered. So let's get right into it. So first off, the game has been visually remastered. I know it sounds a little bit obvious, but you can see here that Angel has a completely different look. The HUD has been changed. We have a different ammo count. We have a different health bar. Weapon cards have a different look. The vendors have been redone. A new look on your mission log. The list goes on and on. At number two, we have a mini map now. You can see in the upper right hand corner, it works just like it was in BL2. Red dots will appear on the map when you find enemies, just like in BL2, and also waypoints will display a lot easier. And this is a huge feature. You will not be getting lost anymore. You will know where you're going. And on top of that, we have the compass system too. And you can actually disable it or enable it if you want to, or get rid of the minimap if you want to. I don't know why you would do that, uh, but it's up to you. At number three, we have the option to lock and also trash your items. So by locking your item, you can stop from moving it and also dropping it on accident. And by trashing your item, you can tell what's junk and sell it a lot easier. At number four, shift rewards return. And what that means is if you follow Gearbox or Borderlands on their social media, they will be posting golden key codes and you guys can get those codes and input it in your game and get golden keys. Just like in Borderlands 2, we have a golden chest that gives you loot. And with the keys you get from these social media, you can unlock this chest. And at number five, we have six brand new legendary weapons never seen before. At this point in time, I don't know what they are yet, but I will be hunting for them. Number six, we have a harder, more rewarding destroyer battle. So if you guys remember the destroyer in the original, he's kind of a boring boss. He doesn't move. Uh, he's pretty easy to kill. He's kind of a joke. And now he's supposed to be a lot more rewarding, so no more getting crap loot after getting the kill. At number seven, we have five brand new heads for all the characters. You can see here with Lilith, we have a bunch of new heads. And I love that she has Hank Reese's cap from the zombie DLC. That's pretty awesome. For number eight, we have auto pickup for health files, money, and also ammo on the floor. If you remember from the original, you had to go up to everything you see on the floor and manually pick it up. That is no more. At number nine, we have one-time boss kills will be respawning. For example, in the original, King Wee Wee was a one-time kill. Once you killed him, you can never farm him again. And that was kind of a bummer. Now we have the option to repeat those kills and that's pretty awesome. Finally, at number 10, we have a field of view slider. Now, I know in the original, a lot of people didn't want to play this game due to the field of view. We now have the option to bring it all the way up to 120 FOV. This is one of the best changes ever in this game, in my opinion. Heck with it, you know what? I know I said I was gonna cover 10 changes, but let's go for 11. So at number 11, you can import your old characters onto the remaster. That Mordecai you made way back in 2009, bring it to the remaster. That Lilith you have hoarding all the pearls from the original, bring it to the remaster. So I could go on and on about many changes in this game, but those are the ones I wanted to cover. Let me know below in the comments what your guys' favorite changes are. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like because that'd be epic. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah, peace out.